king is praying for peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. My father's sweat must be given to me now. My husband's sweat must be given to me now. Rani, oh Rani, don't block my way. My father's sweat must be given to me now. My husband's sweat must be given to me now. Rani, oh Rani, don't block my way. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Palace is all that I need. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. What is this toughness in my palace? My hair is gone away. Fighting every day. My head is failing me. Oh, oh, eh, hey, hey. eh. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? What is this toughness in my palace? Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. It's unusually quiet. Where is everybody? Remember that Princess Rani said she wants to see you in the Asket of Town today. Oh, that is true. Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. I'll have to go inside and freshen up, change into something new, and then go meet her. Happy birthday, Your Majesty. Uh, thank you, my children. Long may you reign and live on the throne of your fathers. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Your Majesty. Yes. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And you will live long on the throne of your fathers. Yes, yes, yes. Your Majesty. Thank you. Your Majesty. Yes, your Majesty. Yes, your Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. And welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy birthday, Father. Happy birthday, my lovely husband. Thank you, husband. Happy birthday, my lord and owner of my destiny. <laughs> Thank you, my lovely wife. Happy birthday, His Majesty. Thank you. Happy birthday, Daddy. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Happy birthday, Daddy. Thank you, Jesse. Happy birthday, Daddy. Thank you, my last mate, Anna. Happy birthday, Your Majesty. Thank you. Happy birthday, Your Majesty. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Do you know, I almost forgot that today is my birthday. <laughs> yes, Daddy. I know this is your hand. Yes, Daddy. Uh, your Majesty, she actually told us uh, to keep it from that. Yes, yes, yes. We all are history. Of course, yes, yes, oh, oh. yes. Uh, that is true. That is true. That is true. Uh, but we all agree to it. Of course, we did. Uh, uh, Hello. Uh, yes, thank you. Yes. 
<sighs> so ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank every one of you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you, my lord. Thank you for honoring me. Your mm. Majesty. <laughs> Chibuko. Your Majesty. Chibuko. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. <laughs> Have a cook. <laughs> if you had given me a little hint, I would have gone inside to at least change into something better. This is royalty. This is royalty. And this is you. <laughs> Before we cut this cake. I'd like to tell you a little story. Don't mm. leave your majesty. Please sit down. Thank you, your majesty. Thank you, your majesty. Thank you, your majesty. Your Majesty. Yes, Doctor. Your Highness, you are good to go. With the result I have in there, you can't even play football. <laughs> Your uh, blood pressure is moderate. Your PCV is okay, and your sugar level is 80%. All you need to do is to take your breakfast and take your pills, but you still need some rest. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Frank. You're always welcome, Your Highness. Uh, that even reminds me, I didn't see you at the party yesterday. What happened? <laughs> your friend Randy did not invite you? Uh, your Majesty, she did. I was trying to dodge the question because I knew you would ask. Well, I had a, an emergency surgical operation to carry out on the patient, oh. so I couldn't make it. Mm. You missed. Really? You missed so much. You should have seen me rocking my new age. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> there was no lettuce downstairs that I did not rock to wow. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, Your Majesty, there's always another time. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah. Thanks to your friend, Rani. Yeah. Uh, look at you. It's such a workaholic. I wonder how you and Rani are going to cope as husband and wife. Two workaholic in love. <laughs> you might just say God will do that. God will take care of that. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, Frank, let me let you go before you decide to excuse yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that was smart of you, Your Majesty. You already see it coming. I uh, well, I will have to check on you tomorrow morning before I go to work. It's okay, Doctor. Yeah. <sighs> have a good day, Doctor. Thank you, Your Majesty. I've been watching you from a distance. Is anything the problem? Nothing. Is the king going out? I don't think he will be going out today. Dr. Frank asked him to rest. That means we are free for today to rest as well. 
that devil? Why will he not ask him to rest? When he already had the king's favorite daughter. I hate that guy. I hate him. I think he's a gold digger. I'm very sure. You must wash your tongue. That is the king's law to be. You are talking about here. We are workers in this palace. So let's mind our business. Dr. Frank is a rich doctor, and you know it. So how can he possibly be a gold digger? I know you are in love with Princess Rani, but that doesn't change the fact that you are her servant. Kuka, but if I marry her, the table will turn around for me. I will no longer be a slave anymore, but an in-law to royalty. Then you will be my PA. Does she even know that you are in love with her? Are you bold enough to talk to take her out? So how can she possibly be your wife? <laughs> Tell me, how? Destiny. Destiny. I don't care how it happens. All I know, someday, one day, Princess Rani will be my wife. <laughs> Princess, Princess Rani. Why are you laughing now? <laughs> Your wife. <laughs> how is that possible? Tell me. How is it possible? How is she going to be your wife? Tell me. When that idiot doctor leaves the way, she will be my wife. Then you will be my PA. Interesting. I have come to tell you that the king has instructed us that no visitors will be allowed in the palace. Hmm? Daydreamer. Understand me? Be there and live in your world of fantasy. Eh? Don't forget the king's instruction. You will end up being my PA when she finally be my wife. You, you. We shall see. Prince Jackson took it. For what? I wouldn't know, ma'am. God, his mother took the sum of five million naira last month, and you allowed the son to take another two million naira so soon? Ma'am, I know how you feel about this. Considering how we were suffering to keep this hotel to standard, but who am I to stop the son of a king from taking from his father's treasury? We must act smart if we must keep this hotel from going bankrupt. You can go. Call me the chief accountant. I will, Your Majesty. Why don't you want to come inside? Well, I'm good here, girl. I'm good. I'm so perfect here. I'm fine. You see, there's something I want to discuss with you, Vivian. I have known you for quite some time now. I mean, we have known each other for quite some time. Yeah. And um, I think we have known each other enough. I'm not one of those guys that want to date a girl for decades before settling down. You see, I want you to be mine, Vivian. Mine and mine alone. And that makes you the next queen of this kingdom. Are you serious? Oh, or are you just testing me to see my reaction? Come on, girl, I am serious. I ain't kidding with you. I am tired of being on the fast lane. I want you to have my last name. I want you to be my wife. But you see, there's someone who's standing in our way from achieving this. That, that person is Rani. That's your greedy sister. I hate her with passion. Well, that makes the two of us. 
Now you need to come work for me. How do I work for you? First thing in the morning, get dressed. I'll be here to pick you up. You need to pay her a visit. Just a visit. <laughs> Just a visit. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you take care, girl. Right. Come here. Alright. That's my girl. You take See you care. later. Alright. Bye, baby. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> That's my girl. Uh huh, uh huh. I added coke to your meal. I know you love taking coke after me. Okay. Yeah. Come. How come Thomas is having two meats and uh, coke and I having just one each? The meal was served with a piece of meat, so I added meat to Thomas' own. Which will you eat? I can manage without meat. Okay. Let me go and serve the rest. This is true love. Thomas, congratulations. You have found your missing rib. What kind of nonsense is that? Coca, stop. What kind of a, a broken missing ribs is that? See, my heart belongs to someone else. She is just wasting her time. By the time I married Princess, you both will know that is my love. <laughs> Someone is. In fact, on your wedding day, this is how the, the MC is going to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, join me as I make welcome the latest couple in town, God Thomas and Maid Lucy. <laughs> Happy married life. Happy married life. Oh, mother, you're here. Yes. Good morning. How was the night today? Rani, what is good about the morning? You mean you are this selfish and wicked? Mother, what have I done this time? What have you not done? What have you not done, Rani? I sent your brother to your office yesterday to bring me some money. You started insulting him, saying all sorts of rubbish as if he was on his own. Rani, let me tell you, I suffered with my husband to stand this empire when you were yet unborn. And so, I deserve to reap where I sow. Mother, I don't get you. If you suffered with my father to build this empire, does that give you the added privilege to rule it at this time of hardship? Rani, you're talking to me, your mother. Oh, so you want me to suffer because there's hardship, isn't it? Mother, I paid you, Jesus Christ, two weeks ago. So what do you want me to do? Rani, what is the miserable 250,000 that you, you, you pay me on a monthly basis? Okay, was I still not paid when she and her children collected five million naira last month? Okay. Was his son not paid when he took away two million naira this month? Answer me! Rani, answer me! 
Mother, enough. I've had enough. Enough of what? I'm running late. I really need to go, Mother. I need to go now. Daddy, you're walking out on me. You come back to meet me here. Ha! Ah. Okay. In this life, never be too anxious. For life is so predictable to the end. In this life, oh I, oh I, never be too anxious. For life is so predictable to the end. The commoners are wishing they were in the palace. The poor are wishing to be rich as the king. But the king is praying for peace in the palace. The commoners are wishing they were in the palace. The poor are wishing to be rich as the king. Brother, don't tell me, are you mad? Are you insane? Have you lost your mind? I mean, have you gone that gas? Huh? Now talk to me, who employed you? Who employed you to be a monitoring spirit as regards my doings in this company? Who employed you? Oh, you my father. Who owns it? Talk to me! Idiot! Where are your manners? How dare you badge into my office without no protocol? No respect. Are you sick in the head? To call my not even the king would demand such protocol from me, let alone a bare girl, a bare woman in the palace. Wash your tongue. My father is not a plaything in the hands of the idiotic element like you. You are not too young to own your own company. Get something doing. Instead of you lazing around in the house without nothing. Hoping on your father's wealth. Are you not older than me? Huh? I ask. Are you not depending on it too? Hmm? Point of correction. I am a salary earner. I work for it. You see, if this company folds up, I will dust my certificate and get something doing somewhere. But you, you hen, you don't work. You can't even survive without your father's hotel. Jaxi, if I were you, I would bear my face in shame. Instead of coming here to rant like a bush dog. I have only come to warn you, dear sister. Should father scold me again as regards my doings, withdrawals in this hotel, this establishment, I will pay you a visit. I will. You are just a dumb score. That's if you have ever have access to that account. Get out of my office, idiot. Get out! Arrogant like you. Get out of my face. Get out! molested by your half-brothers. You work day and night for all of us and you have nothing. Rani, my child, we don't need to quarrel all the time. Thank God you are your father's favorite. Whatever you say is what he does. Let us open an account for we here and I'll be the signatory. 
by so doing, I will be on top of the rest of them. What do you think? Mother, I don't get you. You have to be playing. Okay. This is the idea. Since your father has decided to be signing every couple that comes out of the hotel, good. You act smart. Give him excess bill. And we will be transferring the money to my account. No, no, mom. No, mom. The money should not be transferred to your account. Let it be transferred to our account. So will you shut up? What do you know about money? I am your mother. I will take responsibility of your expenses. Mother, so you are seeing this greedy. What do you mean? Why do you want to join the rest of them in ruining father's handwork? Because his heart is falling. Can't you see? Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Or you think because you are next to his throne, Makes, we make him will his hotel to you. All the fact that Riley is walking there makes her an automatic uh, owner of the hotel. I know your father very well. He is my husband. We grew up together. Nobody, nobody can predict him. So let us say for the rainy day. No, mother. I don't care. I don't care who inherits the truck. All I know is that I'm just an employee. Who should be faithful to our boss, my father, the king? Rani, you are talking like an idiot. Act with your senses and look like my daughter. She's not an idiot, Mama. Rani is very, very right. We cannot steal from our father just because the rest of them are doing it. <laughs> Rani, remove my name from the payroll. I am big enough to take care of myself. What is going on? Really? Like, really, you don't need the money? In that case, big sis, you know, Stanley's money should be credited to my account. Will you shut up? Rani, dear, put his money in my account. Why are you surprising on my son's money? Mother, I don't have to do with you. You working out on us? Stanley, dear, why don't you need the money anymore? That is the first question you should have asked me, Mama. I am done here. What, what is going on? Mom, Mom, you gotta take it easy, man. That money should, should be mine. Go Mom. away from here! Sports child. I want to make it clear to every one of you. No one. I repeat, no one must visit my hotel or go to my hotel to take any money. Rani is not in charge of any financial dealings. She is just an employee just like every other staff of the hotel. So, if there must be any form of transaction, that person must come to me. This is specifically Going to you, Jackson. That display of intimidation and stupidity that you carried out in Rani's office must not repeat itself. Else, you will go in search of your own father and leave my palace. Uh, your, your, your father, you won't see how Rani goes about telling lies about me. I never intimidated her. We are the ones who have been intimidated and marginalized, father. Rani wants to have everything to herself. Will you shut up? 
and sit down. Your Majesty, you have to be fair on this judgment if you want peace in this palace. How have I caused any form of rancor amongst my children? Explain that to me, woman. We have three princes in this palace. Why don't you give them the responsibility of running the hotel instead of giving it to a male girl who sees herself as I too know? Three princes indeed. Where were your three princes? When Okoro, my former manager, almost liquidated the hotel. Where were they? Where was your prince? When Rani took loan from the bank, and brought the hotel back to life. Is she the one servicing the room? Is it not the hotel that is taking care of itself and this so-called Rami that seals herself as a tomb? Enough of your harsh words, woman! Your Majesty, I demand an apology for calling my daughter and I too know. The fact that I'm quiet does not mean that I'm a fool. Did you and your children not join the former manager to, to empty the treasury of the, of the company? What have I and my children what have we benefited? Go Nothing. On. And you are here ranting. Come on! Pretend! Act as if you don't know. You are asking me what you benefited. As if you, you didn't benefit anything. Listen, we cannot sit back and watch you and your children. Have everything to yourselves. You are for me, you are acting. Act well. Oh. <laughs> are we fools? You think we will keep quiet and watch you and your children? Rule the world! No way. It will happen. Have you forgotten? Hmm? Have you forgotten how you were brought here by your poverty strictly family? Bless my husband! Revive my memory! Before I am a and I grow up! I have not finished the purpose for my coming this meeting. Stanley. Father, I heard that you took your name out of the monthly allowance. I don't remember you telling me that you have found any good job. Oh, are you all so angry with your sister? Far from that, Father. It is high time I faced reality. I don't belong here. I am called to be a priest. And I have made up my mind to become a reverend father. Yes. Stop me. Did I just hear you right? Yes, Father. You want to be a Reverend Father? Yes, Father. <laughs> Father, I am not joking. I have made up my mind on that and there is no going back. I am sorry, Father. I have tolerated all these relegations and you. This was not an agreement until you married me. I purposely did not want to say anything at the meeting because I don't want to sound rude. You and your children are taking me for a fool. 
Is it because I have a daughter and no son that you and your children are marginalizing us? Watch your tongue, woman. Watch what you say. What do you know about marginalization? Anyway, I will forgive you because I want to assume that you do not know the meaning of what you just said due to your educational level. I know what I'm saying. I may not be a graduate, but I still know my left from my right. Prince Stanley is the heir to the throne. His sister is going to be the CEO of your company. All coming from one woman. Did you just hear yourself, woman? Did you just hear yourself? I did not make me stand the head to my throne. God did. God gave him to me first before any other of my children. And as for Princess Rani, she studied hotel management. So when she graduated, I employed her into the hotel to come and stop the hotel from sinking. What about your daughter? What did she study? Chemistry. I do not have a chemical company. If I did, I would employ her. So please, woman, stop wondering. Are you now mocking me and my daughter? <laughs> we don't worry. We're going to survive. We'll make it on our own. Good. That is very good. These are the kind of things I like to hear. Now, woman, get out of my presence. What is wrong with all of you in this palace? Why is everybody on Rani's case? Rani this, Rani that. Oh. That reminds me, Rani. What color of dress do you intend getting for your wedding? Wedding? Who is getting married? Who else? You, of course. Come on, Rani. Didn't you tell us last year you were getting married this year? You also said you were going to be making all your shoppings in the U.S. Yes, I did. Yeah, so when we had you travel to the U.K. on holidays, we assume that you went there for shoppings, you know, for your wedding, and of course, for us, your bestest. So what happened to all of that? What is wrong with both of you? Oh, nothing good. If I'm planning my wedding, I should let you guys know. Or if I'm going to shop for my wedding, I would definitely plan with you guys before going. Are you talking about planning? <laughs> or taking us along with you to the UK? Yeah, <laughs> that sounds better, you know. Taking you guys along with me, I would definitely go bankrupt. Because I will be spending all my money on your tickets. Can't you see that? Very well done. Let's assume. You, no shopping, no wedding. Well, at least you will not go in the deny us of our goodies. So, can we have that? All right, good. Let me get it. Better. Oh, oh you This is your friend now. What is wrong with her? She's always bad Not even that, my darling. I was even praying the marriage shouldn't work out. How will she get married before us? Rani this, Rani that. Is she the only one on this earth? Rani the princess, Rani taking over her father's company, and now Rani is getting married before us. No, like. no. 
Vivian, you're going too far. Remember, she's still our best friend. Please, let her be. Yes. It's a go for her, so let her flex it. Don't worry, as come. right to my decision as a man. I have been living in bondage in this palace after God called me. I have tried to dodge it. The more I do that, the stronger the feelings I get. Mother, I'd rather be an heir to God than to sit on that throne and rule as a miserable king. But it's your destiny. You can't run away from it. You just can't. It's natural. You will all die. God Almighty! I'm sorry, Mother. I know how hot this would be to you. Stanley! Stanley! Make your son, my son, please! Wow. <laughs> Thomas, how are you? I'm fine. You're still cleaning my car. Yes, Your Majesty. Huh? I have to make it look nice for you because you deserve the best. Thomas, thank you so much. I have to go to work now. I'm running late. <laughs> okay, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, yes. please, I have something to tell you. I'm sorry if it will offend you. What could that be? Please, I want, you, I want to drive you to work today. <laughs> Let me take you around all your daily activities. You busy too much. Is that what is so difficult for you to say to us? Anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate you. But don't forget this. I love doing things myself. And moreover, Dr. Frank will be coming around today to pick me out and I will be bringing me back home. No, Your Majesty. Please let me do this for you. Don't I beg of you, please. Don't worry, don't worry, Thomas. Just get your list together. beg you and at the same time advise you look at me I am your father and I love all of you equally the whole of my children I love you all Rani did not become my favorite because I made it so. No. Rani is the only one that checks on me before she goes to work. She comes to discuss with me every night before she goes to bed. She calls me twice every day while at work. She checks on me because she cares about me so much. And she has been doing this ever since she was born. 
So you put yourself in my shoes. What will you do? I can understand, Father. Listen, Anna. I want you to disregard everything your mother has been telling you. I am your father. Come close to me. Be closer to your sister, Rani. Do not hate her like your sister Jessica does. You do these things and see for yourself if you will not have a better place in my kingdom. But father, you don't show me love the way you show sister Rani. I am your last child. I deserve to be loved. That is because you belong to opposition. Nobody loves opposition. Look at me. You have to change. Do these things that I tell you. And see if you will not have a better position in my palace. Okay, Dad. I'm sorry for my bad behaviors. I'll change. You know I love you. Just go ahead and change. Be a better person. And see how it goes. Will. Okay? Okay. Now you run along. And tell the maid to bring me some fruits. Alright, I will. Okay, now. Days now, this is the third time I am coming to you. You refuse to tell me anything, yet you call me your best friend. You really want to know? Yes, I want to know. Please say it. I promise you keep it a secret. I swear. I love Thomas. I love him so much. <laughs> What's this for? There's no more secrets. Every maid in the palace knows. But Princess Rani is standing on my way. Thomas will not even look my way because he's in love with Princess Rani. I wish you could just die. Please stop! Before you speak abomination upon yourself, think I well. don't even care anymore if I have the slightest opportunity. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? I need peace. Oh. In this life, never be too anxious, for life is unpredictable to the end. In this life. Starley, it's been exactly one week since you declared your intention in a meeting to be a reverend father. I purposely allowed time to pass by before I call you to ask you again. Because my people say that when a drunk is intoxicated, 
you allow him to gain his consciousness before you interrogate him. So I ask you again, what was that rubbish all about? With all due respect, Father, I cannot be king after you. I have chosen a path to my destiny. It is a dream I had long ago, but I was too young of age to take decision for myself. Now that I'm a man enough to take responsibility for my actions, I have decided to be a priest. You know, I like your guts. You actually have the guts to repeat it before me. But I'll ask you a question. Tell me, when in the history of the Patrick's lineage of kingship, did you hear that a younger son was crowned king while the first son is still alive? Oh, you're silent. So why then should I, King Patrick Wakwe, be the first to start it? But Father, these laws were made by humans and it can be broken by us. You shut up. Just look at you. I actually thought you are a grown-up man. I didn't know you are still an idiot. But Father, I am not your only son. You still have two orders. I am sure Prince Jackson will be glad to grab this opportunity. If he's not interested, then you can give it to Chris Murphy and stop acting like I'm your only son. Shut up your mouth! Shut your mouth before I ask the gods to strike you dead! How dare you! How dare you tell me about traditions? What do you know about traditions? Who made you a kingmaker in this kingdom? That you should decide who should be crowned and who should not. Who sought for your opinion? Father, this is a civilized world where everyone's right counts. I will go any length to defend my rights. Shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! I would rather have you dead than to crown any of my younger sons. I would rather have you dead! Father! 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 Somebody! Somebody help me! Father, no, no, father. Father! Father! Somebody help me! Are you feeling better now, Daddy? I feel a little better. Your Majesty, I have always advised you to stay out of stress. You are lucky we were not far from home. If not, the story would have been different. Can you just imagine? Stanley has decided to bring shame upon this family. He has Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness. Baby, you know what? Let us allow him to have some rest. You mean we should leave him on by itself? Your Highness will be fine, trust me. 
Yeah. Your Majesty. Chief Wama. Your Majesty. I called to both of you here as my trusted chiefs to discuss an issue. And this issue bothers me so much. It is unheard of. that in the history of my lineage that an heir to the throne will abandon his throne to becoming a reverend father. This worries me so much. Prime Minister, Your Majesty, something has to be done about this. Your Majesty, this is unbelievable, Your Majesty. I sense some manafiki in this issue. How do you mean? Consider, I don't want to sound uh, disrespectful. But considering the rancor amongst your queens in the palace, it is not out of place for, for anyone to think that some manafiki is taking place. Your Majesty, I, I am not sure, but I'm sorry, I'm only thinking aloud. Uh, uh, your Majesty, I think he has a very big point here. Thank you, my brother. A very big point. Uh, though I'm sorry, Your Majesty, that I'm taking sides with uh, the Prime Minister. I have not heard your own side of the story or your opinion. But I think there is sense in what he's saying. And we should not forget too that we must, we must inform the Chief Priest on this issue. Okay? I agree totally with you. Though we have all agreed that uh, we should keep this a secret even to the other members of the cabinet. But I think the chief priest should be made known of our position. He should be carried and put in I the agree. picture. I agree with you. Yes. Because uh, we need him so he can do some findings and we'll know where we are. Ah. Uh, can we know your majesty's wish? Yeah, yeah. Both of you have spoken very well. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. But I need some time to think it through. You, my chiefs, can go ahead and make your findings. We. Whatever you discover, please. Report back to me. Ah, <laughs> Your Majesty, we you certainly know. will. We will. We will report back to you. Definitely. We will see the Chief Priest and whatever our findings, we will we'll let you know. Back. Please, send my regards to the Chief Priest. We will, Your Majesty. We will. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> Love for your Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> Palace is all that I need. 
God forbid. My king will stay on longer than any of his ancestors on the throne. That's a wishful prayer. The king is dying slowly. Your majesty, how do you now think we can help? Good question. I need you to convince him to share his properties amongst us. And as his first wife, I want him to wheel the hotel to me. And if you succeed in this, you stand a chance to retain your, your position as the Prime Minister when the King finally joins his ancestors. Uh, with all due respect, Your Majesty, I thought you had come to discuss how well to make the King well. I didn't know you were coming to discuss the issue of sharing properties. Forget about the king's health. And act as I say. You stand a chance to gain in all this. That is an abomination, Your Majesty. That is an abomination. I cannot think anything ill against the sitting king. My loyalty belongs to him. I thought you had come to talk about your son who suddenly decided to become a reverend father. Not share properties. Prime Minister, watch your tongue. I still remain the Queen. If the King wills his hotel to me and my son runs it, he may come back and change his mind. Uh, your and you stand a chance to gain in all this. Your Majesty, it is a man's right to share his personal property, not the issue of cabinet. If the king so decide to share his property, all well and good. All I want to suggest, Your Majesty, is carry this matter to the family. Not but you can lure him. You can convince him you are his prime minister. But in this case, Your Majesty, take it to his family, not the cabinet. Okay, sister. I know where to go. Yes, of course. I've come to particularly thank you for taking the welfare of the king with paramount importance in your life. I may be a child, but I see all that is happening. 
You are the only person that gives him solace. Thank you. I also want to use this medium to beg you to forgive me if I've done anything wrong. Oh no. No, Hana. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm so happy to hear this from you. I'm not a bad person. I'm doing this for Father. Everyone is practically against Father. Father is too young to die, Hannah. I know all the stories, Big Six. I want to join you to support Father. <laughs> I want to kiss him like you do every morning. I want to always keep him company. And I also want to join you build the hotel. You are a star. For this, you are going to be my personal assistant. Just like that? It's... Wow, thank you, Mickey. You are such a star. Thank you. You are such a star. God bless you for me. God bless you for me. Oh. What is wrong with you? Huh? Why are you endangering your life? Don't you know you're all I've got in this family? Huh? I don't want to ever see you without wicked Rani again. But mother, that same Rani is the only person who bears the cross that is keeping the family's glory in date. No one cares about daddy. Not even you, the last wife, who is supposed to be his favorite. You are after daddy's wet, and yet none of you wants to build it with him, except Rani. That same Rani! Shut up! Shut up! How can you speak to me like that? Huh? Eh? Huh? One more go from you again, I'm gonna hit you really hard. Oh, oh, what is even wrong with this guy? Huh? What has she done to you? I can say she's really working your brain. I look like a widow. I bought the first prince in this palace. And now I'm about to lose the opportunity of becoming the queen mother. My daughter is in charge of finance. And I am as broke as a maid. Mother, your problem is not that you are broke. Your problem is greed. Until you learn how to take life the way you see it, you will keep complaining. Yes. Mother, you are the biggest problem I have in this palace. What do you mean? You have to understand, I cannot betray my father, the king. Neither will I betray myself against being a priest for a mere worldly throne. Who is asking the two of you to betray yourselves? Mom, That's just you. wipe your tears. Um, Don't worry. Um, Reverend Father, since you're not ready to ascend the throne, as the hair apparent. Why not call everyone? I mean, call everyone in the kingdom and announce to them that you have willed your crown to me as your mother's child. Huh? You just shush your mouth. You are the biggest fool that I've ever walked apart. My brother, you are a kind of man. The next king of this kingdom is not with us in this palace. Open your spiritual eyes. And as for you, mother, we know the reason you call this meeting. For me to change my mind against being a priest and for Rani to transfer the money from the hotel into your account. Yes. <sighs> Don't bother, mother. Trust me, it won't work. Can I just wish you saying this? We get them. Don't mind them. Mom, don't worry. You see this truth. I will accept it. Just count on me. Don't worry. Don't mind them. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. 
let ye be peace in the palace. Let ye be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. Because I don't understand. What about her? She, she told me she got a job in a hotel. The next thing, she hurried away and left it running. I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. She's the only one I've got in this family. the wind of change. Anna has suddenly realized that Rani is her elder sister. So she has placed loyalty to her wicked, selfish, greedy, and all to know with daughter of mine. So due to the actions of hers, she has been favored Rani no longer runs the hotel alone. She now runs the hotel with her stepsister, who happens to be your daughter. So you get ready for war from the rest of them. Rani? Yes, Rani. If I were you, I'll pull out from opposition because this party I stand to protect in my life. In this life, never be too anxious, for life is so predictable to the end. In this life, oh, I, oh, I, never be too anxious. For life is so predictable to the end. The commoners are wishing. Mm. Oh, wow. Hello, darling. You alright? <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, you finished working for today? Yes, I I was missing my princess, <laughs> so I have to shut down every business to mm. come and see you. That's nice. I'm worried about your office. Who's going to look after your patients? Well, my younger brother, Dr. Moses, is around. He came in from US last night. Wow! So he's in charge. That's nice. Dr. Moses, I can't wait to see him. That is the more reason you have to shut down your system. We need to go out there and have some fun. Not again. I was actually working on a project before you walked in, old man. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, you were done. Oh, really? Uh, what are you doing? All work I not play makes Bunny a dog. Mm. <laughs> You're so cheap. Shall we now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah. Good. Oh. Dr. Mosin will be so excited to see you. I miss my
My heart is shattered. I am in no mood for this. But your highness, it has been three weeks now since I slept on your bed. I need you. I said leave me alone before I strike you like a thunder! Your highness, you're hurting me! anyone to flaunt it. You have to maintain all of this for us to have a cordial working relationship. I Dad. Yes, Murphy. What is it? I found this instant this room. What is that? It's a letter, Dad. Dear Father, I am sorry to do this to you, but before this paper could get to you, I should be far gone on my way to the UK for my seminary school. I love you and the entire family. I will put you and whoever is going to sit on that throne in prayers. It was a calling that is inevitable. I hope that you will understand with time. Your son, Stanley. It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Your Majesty, it took that high priest three hours to consult the gods on which of the prince to take over from you. And yet, the gods were silent. Hmm. What about the other chief priests from the neighboring community? That one? <laughs> Your Majesty, let's not bother to talk about that one. He was obviously not ready for the business. But what did he say? He said a stranger will sit on this throne. A stranger? When I know that it is only a royal blood that can sit on the throne. I just allow him to blab and, 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 and I left. He must be a drunk. I agree with you, your majesty. Well, at this juncture, we have no other choice than to wait upon the gods. Long may you reign of your majesty. This is worrisome. So I want you to massage it for me. My daughter is not around. Take. Take! Open it. Do it! I'm 
what's the excitement about? Please, my queen. I need you to help me to advise your son, Prince Jackson. If he wants to rule, he should wait for his turn. That is when my father is gone. <laughs> right. And who are you to advise my son on how to rule and how not to rule? When your brother was the crown prince, did anybody advise him? Rani, listen to me. It is my son's turn. And he's the vibrant one. Let him rule the way he likes. Do you hear me? Do you have a problem with that? Are you aware that the king's head is failing? It is your mother's responsibility as a first wife to cater for the king. After all, she enjoyed him when they were youths. And now she's still enjoying him. So why bring me in? It is her responsibility. She should cater for him. Do you have a problem with that? It pains me so much to know that my father got married to a bundle of greed. How dare you? How dare you, Rani? Did your mother send you to me? I will let this pass. The next time you cross my path, I'm going to crush you that you will not live to talk about your experience. Get it, get it from my way. See? You better take sense into your head, though. So, was I included in the will? Good if I wanted to give you anything, but I quickly did it myself before I took you to the barrister. You know I cannot let my queen suffer now. So, who did he give the hotel to? Who else? Rani, of course. Then, who will take over the palace? Jackson. So, which one is ours in this whole property? <laughs> well, all the children got something. He willed an uncompleted building to your daughter and gave you one of his old cars. But I changed it to the house in Lagos and gave the uncompleted building to Murphy. I miss you. Please, I'm not in the mood. to have a word with you. Two years since Stanley left the kingdom, but I have been here with you. I remain here with you as a loyal, faithful son who will never, ever betray his father. But up to now. I am yet to be crowned the heir for the throne next in line. Your business. You've 
handed it over to a mere woman who will get married someday and end up enriching another man. Father, why? Jackson, my son, inasmuch as I am not standing in your way to becoming the next king of this kingdom, I, King Patrick Wakwe, will not in my right senses hand over my throne to a lunatic like you. It seems like I have no choice. Since Tommy, your elder brother, has betrayed the family. Why would God stand in my way? But I ask you, why would he stand in my way? Am I not am I, am I not next in line? Am I not your blood? Am I not your blood ever since Stalin left? Ever since, since Stalin is no more? Watch your words, son. Stanley, your elder brother is not dead. He's still very much alive. Neither am I dead. I am still alive. The Prime Minister and the Chiefs have been to the Chief Priest's place severally. Trying to find out if you sh should be crowned the next king of this kingdom or any other of my sons. But the gods have been silent. So, you take your questions to the gods and not me. Take my questions to the gods. Was I stupid to come to you, Father? Was I stupid? Why, 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 why would the gods be silent, Father? Why would they be silent? Why would they wait for, for the gods to speak? Was anyone consulted before Stanley was crowned heads with the throne? Why is it always different with me? Why? The gods are wise, son. The gods are wise. Maybe, maybe they think before I join my ancestors that Stanley may change his mind and come back to claim that which is rightfully his. Maybe they do not want him to come back here and the palace be thrown into confusion. The gods are wise, my son. Oh, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. I see, Father. Uh, I am very sorry to have uh, troubled you uh, with my questions or uh, interrupt your rest. I beg to take my leave, Father. The gods are wise. Maxine, you will never be king. Never. In this life, never be too anxious. For life is so predictable to the end. In this life, oh, I, oh, I, never be too anxious. For life is so predictable to the end. I wish it the way in the palace. I wish it to be rich as the king. For the king is praying for peace in the palace. I wish it the way in the palace. I wish it to be rich as the king. For the king is praying for peace in the palace. You want to come inside or do we sit outside? Welcome. Go for this way. 
Prime Minister. Prime Minister. My Prince. Prime Minister. My Prince. Why are you brainwashing my father against me? What do you mean? Well, let me bring you up to speed. Before my brother, Prince Tali, was crowned heir to the throne, nobody consulted the gods. Now that it's my turn to be crowned, the gods have suddenly gone silent. And by the way, why don't you like me? My Prince, now I know where you are coming from. It has never happened in this kingdom where we crown the junior before the senior. Uh, now, well, we know it is not your fault that your brother has uh, abdicated the throne. But we have to allow the gods to lead us. Well, um, Prime Minister, my prince, I don't want to have issues with you. But as such, I would want you to gather the chiefs as soon as possible and crown the heir to the throne. Else, I'll show you my true color. <laughs> my prince, you don't have to threaten me. It will not solve any problem. Uh, if you must know, it is not my place or responsibility to crown you king. It is the responsi res responsibility of the king to crown whoever sits on the throne. You can go and put pressure on your father to crown you king. If he agrees to that, Oh well and good. I will I will support him because he's my king. Well now that he's sick, is it not your sole responsibility to take charge of the entire kingdom? It is. But under his guidance. Because he's still alive. I cannot take a take a decision until he passes on. Well, uh, Prime Minister, I like you. But you know what? A man is either my friend or my enemy. If he's my enemy, I'll pay him a visit. Peace in the palace. Peace in the palace. So that I need to say to Kakoda. What have you not seen? Peace in the palace. Peace in the palace. Peace in the palace. So that I need. It's not ready to go. Life, oh, I, oh, I, never be too anxious. For life is so predictable to the end. The woman as I wish she the way in the palace. For I wish it to be rich as the king. For the king is praying for peace in the palace. My king. Bruno, do you want to lose your job as an ex-Prime Minister of this kingdom? Lose my job? What wrong have I done? My king, you know I've been loyal to you and your government. But well, if you've been loyal to me and my government, then it is time for us to act. It's time to act. I finally got Vivian to my side. Yes. She's now my girlfriend as I speak with you. So we're going to use Vivian to plant the seed in Radis. Radis offers. Lights cannot be possible, you know. They are close friends. Things you don't complain. Everything has a price, my friend. Everything. She has already complied because I promised her that she was going to be the next Lola of the community. She was so. Well, time. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll come up with the stuff. That is when your sister might have gone to work. Okay. Then we we'll give to Vivian to go and plant immediately. Good, 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 good. Understand? Good, good job, good job, good job. Tomorrow morning, then. First thing, morning. remember what I told you. A man is either my friend or my enemy. If he's my enemy, trust me. Uh, Your Majesty, I know that issues of personal matters 
has no bearing with us, your cabinet. But you see, some of us have become too close to you as your own family. But no member of your family is interested in your wedding. All they are interested in is your wealth and, 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 and inheritance. Uh, your Majesty, uh, when the lie was danced a couple of days back, not even one of them came with an idea on how to save you. They are only interested on how to share your wealth. Very sad. Chief Udoma. Your Majesty. I lie here. And they come in here one after the other. I know that they have only come to check if I am dead. None of them comes in here with a clear conscience. <laughs> it is only Rani and my last daughter, Anna. Only the two of them that come to me with a clear conscience. But don't worry. Soon I will decide their faith. All of them. Truth is that I am not dying. As a matter of fact, I am getting better. Ah. The gods be praised. The gods be praised. Long shall you live, Your Majesty. Thank you, my <laughs> Duma. Your Majesty. Please do me a favor. Tell the chief priest that I want to see him. Tell him to come and see me in my palace immediately. That is already done. Long shall your majesty live. Thank you, <laughs> Let me do that again. Uh. for a very simple reason. I have been seriously down for some time now. I sent several messages to you. The feedback I get is that the gods are angry with me. But the reasons for their anger, they will not say. I asked, what to sacrifice? You said nothing. Because they said that I will be fine on my own. That I will not die. called you is because of what is going on in my palace my ancestors revealed to me that there is an abomination going on in my house
Therefore, I want you to invoke the power of a susu. You will bring it to my household. And let everyone swear to it. Whoever that refuses to swear shall be banished from my kingdom immediately. Well, your, your Majesty, when will this be? In two market days. Give it a dog sacrifice. Let it feed on the dog for two weeks. After the two weeks, we bring it straight to my household very early in the morning and present it to everybody to swear. Discussion. What else will it be? If not for the issue of your lost brother, for two years now, the chief server will be challenging. Today, you think he's dying. Tomorrow, he bounces back again. Jackson, please be smart. What do you mean, brother? Use your tongue to cut your teeth. For instance, if the king dies, the option of kingship will be left to no one to to kill you. Jackson, be smart. This is my queen. <laughs> my one and only queen. Love you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, okay, okay, but I, I will see you in your room later. Yes, brother. <laughs> you are so funny, but you totally forgot. <laughs> Not even a phone call from you, Vivian. Huh? What about you? Did you ask after me? Did you even call me either? <laughs> you know the nature of my job. I'm always busy. I know you were gonna say that. Work, 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 work. Oh, busy princess. Please let me have the magazine I came for before I forget. <laughs> That's okay. Marian! Marian! Oh, how will she know? Look for it yourself, at least. Let a commoner send a princess message for worms. Ah! Take your time. I just want to do it.
Here is your magazine. Troublesome. That reminds me. Don't forget such thing in my office again. Sorry, there won't be a next time. I think I have to take my leave now. Oh, so soon? What happened? I just received a phone call from my sick mother now. Um, she needs my attention. I thought she was fine, oh. but right now I think I have to take her to the hospital. Hurry up. Alright. Hurry up. Okay. So sorry to hear that. Thank you very much. So sorry. Much. Please send me away to her. No I'll, problem. I'll make sure I transfer some money to your account All right. over All the right. weekend. Alright, thank you very much. You're Bye. Yeah, hello baby. Yeah, is it done? Good. Good. Where did you drop it? Okay. Okay, go home. I'll see you soon, okay? Alright, love you go. It's been done now. You called the NDLA officers. Go straight to the address I was given to you. A client just bought some stuffs from her. Listen, she's big in the system. So go with your strong man. Good day. My king. My king. My king. <laughs> well, let us see. Peace in the palace. Wow. Peace in the palace. You are the king of the land. Oh my goodness. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. Such an arrest you. Such an arrest me for what? That is the order from above. I will beg you to cooperate with us for anything you say or do now will be used against you in the court of law. This is this is my father's hotel. The king, Patrick Wakwe. And I'm the first daughter. What's going on? Mother will know that's why we're here to sanitize this hotel. Not to win the reputation of the king. Please, madam, will you step aside and let us begin our search? Okay, officer. something. No. Still very fresh. No, this is not me. We mark this as exhibit A1. No. no. You are under arrest. How did this get to my office? No, we will get to the station, you explain later. Okay. Can I 
Can I just put a car close to my boyfriend, please? Oh, no, nah, wait, you can't do that. Ah. Okay, just get my back. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, I need peace, oh, in this life, never be too anxious, for life is unpredictable to the end, in this life, oh, I, oh, I, never be too anxious, for life is unpredictable, Till the end, the commoners are wishing to win in the palace. The poor are wishing to be rich as the king, but the king is praying for peace in the palace. The commoners are wishing to win in the palace. The poor are wishing to be rich as the king, but the king is praying for peace in the palace. I see you for just a minute. Okay. What is this? That is the money we realized last night, sir. But by the time I came yesterday, this hotel was fully booked. I mean, a ghost, they stay for the rooms. Yes, sir, but majority of them book online, online, some POS. That was why I have few cash. I don't care if we're in the 21st century. If anybody has to stay in my hotel, it has to be cash! No POS, no booking online, everything cash! C A S H, cash! Sir, with the king's approval, it can be done. Is not this king, 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 king? What am I? Am I not the heir to the throne? I bleed blue, blue. Now get out of my office. Get out. Get out. Kids. There's a secret I want to tell you. What secret is that? Promise you keep it safe. Uh uh. Lucy, have you ever had to worry about you told me outside? I know that's why I trust you. I know it's Prince Johnson and his friend Bruno that plot against Princess Rani. Lucy, watch what you are saying before you get yourself into trouble. What did you know? I know. I saw them in Queen Esther's apartment and they were discussing it. And it was her friend Vivian they used to set her up. God have mercy. And you didn't tell anyone. Why should I? So you come here and start dragging Thomas with me. But Thomas is not dating you, so why the wickedness? I know. Very soon he starts shifting his attention to me. Okay, oh, lover girl. Peace in the palace is all that I need. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. In the palace is all that I need. Please, don't let her know that I told you. Just pretend as though you dreamt about it. Hmm. Okay. I won't. Okay. And don't also pretend as though you love her. Hmm. You. Okay. I will. Hmm. This mother, you are running up and down now. Thank hmm. You. Pretend as if you love her. Hey. My beautiful angel. My pori pori. Where are you coming from? Me, your AJ. Yes. I want to get something across the street. Hey, 
I had a revelation last night, and it was about two of us. Would you want to hear it? Oh, please tell me. I want to hear it, please. Okay. I was in a dream last night. And both of us were so much in love with each other. Really? And you were putting on a very beautiful white gown. And I was putting on a black suit. And Coca was my best man. Kate was your chief bridesmaid. Really? As the priest was about announcing us, man and wife. The chief priest showed up. Why? And he started destroying everything. And he now said, You have a big secret that you know in this palace that you need to confess. My love, I'm already in love with you. If there's any such secret, please say it. So that we can get married in peace. Peace in the palace. 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 My daughter. What you have told us now, you can repeat it in the court of law. Yes, sir. I can say it anywhere, even in the presence of chief priest. Prime Minister, Doctor, can no. you imagine blood, fighting blood because of male properties? Doctor, so what do we do now? Nothing much. Since she said you can say it before anybody, tomorrow morning I will take her to uh, His Majesty's lawyer. Mm -hmm. He knows what to do from there. Mm. Hi! But why did you keep this from us for so long? Of the priest. Hey, you see what your fears have put us into? You see what is happening in the palace? You were so scared. Scared. It's okay. Uh, like you said. Uh, yes, Prime Minister. Yes. Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency. We have a warrant to search and arrest you. Search and arrest me? For what? Officer, I found something. You are under arrest for the possession of hard drugs. Anything you do or say now will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, like I told you, I am a prince. There's... Officer, don't kill me, don't kill me. Please, don't kill me. I'm not crazy to run. I'm not if you run. Are they mad? Please, don't kill me. Don't shoot. 
Coffee. Yes. Hi. Hi, Jackson. Hello, who is this? Stanley, where have you been? See Stanley, dad is very very sick. He is in his room. I don't think dad want to talk to anyone now. Dad has been very sick since Rani was sent to prison. See Stanley, the Nigerian Law Enforcement Agency found some drugs in her office, so they take her to prison. See Stanley, this is the question everyone is asking. However, if Rani is not involved in a high drug, how come they, they found it in her office? Okay, hold on, let me, let me take the phone. Yes, Danny. I told you that is very weak. Okay, hold on. Let me give him the phone. Dad.
to maintain a peaceful burial ceremony. Mm. Mm. Our king we know is a just king. Mm -hmm. He meets out justice to whom justice belongs. That's and if he now requests for justice to be done, so be it. <laughs> it was Bam. Mm. That was the man I originally married. Until this two turned him around. <clears throat> Before I will proceed. Is there anyone that has committed a sacrilege in this palace? Let he or she speak. Now, before the gods will silence you for a mistake. Bam! You have all heard him. If you know you have done anything, you better speak now. Because me, I will not rest until I see to it what Chief happened priest. to my son. Excuse me, Chief Priest. Let me go and ease myself. Sit down, woman. Sit down! It's something. It's something. No talking serious. Until the oath is taken. Okay. Don't swear. Hmm? I will confess. Eh? Yes, I will. My elders, please forgive me. My elders, he raped me. She's lying. She left me to it. Because you started it. Look at you. Shut up. Look at you. Will you stop this? I'm sorry. You were backing her to fight me. What is wrong with you? Look at the disgrace. Are you still normal? How can I be normal? I'm sorry. When I lost a son and a husband, your son killed sorry. himself. For your information, if you don't know. Is that what you are telling me? Or you don't know? Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you are a disgrace. <laughs> my son and my husband are <laughs> not <laughs> No! Please forgive me! Did not have a child in his early marriage. One of his farm workers died leaving her six years old son. No choice of where she was from. My father had to adopt the child like his son. He named him. He came from Uwakwe. Months later, he had my elder brother, Chena Goro Uwakwe. Months or years? Months later. From another woman? No. From my mother, the queen. Which means you are a princess? Ike Mefuna was six years older than China Goro, who in turn was 12 years older than me. My brother impregnated a girl. When he was 22 years old. Which of your brothers now? He kept it a secret from everyone. I alone was aware of it. Of the son? Of the pregnancy? Of the pregnancy. Because if the king knew that he impregnated a girl, before his assumed elder brother, he will not allow him to marry her. Mm -hmm. One day, my father fell sick. 
He called his two sons and told them that Chinagoro will succeed him. And told Ikemefuna his true pathology. Mm. Mm. Out of envy and jealousy, Ikemefuna killed Chinagoro oh. in the farm. Oh, what a painful death. Mm. Oh. His wife was barely six months pregnant. China Goro's wife too was pregnant. China Goro's wife has been the one pregnant. Mm. He came had not married at that time. Mm. The grief of my brother's death sent my father to his early grave. Since no one knew that he came in from the house, no royal blood in him. He sat on the ancestral throne of our fathers. I had to run away with my brother's wife. To save his unborn child, I prayed that she gave them to a boy. Behold, he was a male child that she put to bed. I know Jordan. I took care of him all my life. Three years later, I had a Kemefuna give birth to a son, Patrick. When she got there, my brother's son was 20 years old. He traveled to Lagos. That is Tina Gorong's brother. Give birth to another son. Go ahead. Three years after China Goro's wife gave birth to Chibo, he had his own so called Patrick. He gave birth to a son called Patrick? Yes. Was that Patrick Uwakwe? Patrick traveled to Abuja to learn business. Yes. No wonder the girls were silent. Yes. Oh. No wonder. Ah. Come on, mother. Years later, I was informed that China Goron's son had a child. Just six years ago, he visited me. He came with a picture of his son. He gave it to me and promised that when he is true from school, they will come visit him. Uh, the picture that he gave you, do you have it? Yes, I do have the picture. I sleep with the picture. I wake up with the picture. Because on his way back to Lagos, he had a massive
You know him? I think we do. Uh, uh, princess. Yes. Where is Dr. Frank now? Um, it's inside. Uh, could you get it? No wonder, no wonder the gods have been silent. No wonder the gods have been silent. How can I be royal? That is my brother's son's name! All hail the king! All hail the king! What is going on here? My father's sister? Yes. This is the way as was written by the dust by the late king Patrick Owakwe. I read. I give my first son, Reverend Father Stanley Wapwe, the power of attorney, to share my properties the way that pleases him. Father, I can have it. Thank you, Barbastor. You're welcome. Well, um, <clears throat> the items here are numerous, but I will not bother to read them out to you. I will quickly give out the bigger ones, which includes the hotel, the two mansions in Abuja, where the king lived before he became king. And the house in Asano before considering going to the smaller ones. Now, uh, I give the hotel to Anna. Anna. And I give the house in our server to Murphy. Then the two houses in Abuja, I give the first one to Jessica. And the second one to Rani. My dear women of the palace, whatever your children get, <clears throat> and for you, Dr. Frank, please, I want to beg you because I will not be here during your coronation. And after your coronation, I will want you to retain this palace. Please, if not for anything, but for the kingship to remain within us. You're the palace. This is yours. <laughs> what is yours in all of this? 
Dr. Frank. Father. There are other properties that are yet to be announced. I'll pick from them. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. Yeah, yeah, peace in the palace. I wish it the way in the palace. I wish it to be rich as it is. But the king is praying for peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. In the palace is all that I need My father's sweat must be given to me now My husband's sweat must be given to me now Rani, oh Rani, don't block my way My father's sweat must be given to me now My husband's sweat must be given to me now Rani, oh Rani, don't block my way Let there be peace in the palace let there be peace in the palace Peace in the palace is all that I need Let there be peace in the palace Let there be peace in the palace Peace in the palace is all that I need What is this toughness in my palace? My hair is gone away Fighting every day My head is failing me Oh, oh, eh, hey, hey. eh Oh, wow, wow, wow what is this toughness in my palace? My hair is gone away. Fighting every day, my head is failing me. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. Peace in the palace is all that I need. Let there be peace in the palace. Let there be peace in the palace. In the palace is all that I need